Hi everybody, I'm here to bring us the new moon reading for Tuesday, November 26th, and the new moon is going to be in Sagittarius at 4 degrees Sagittarius. So as always, I am going to be pulling four cards for us looking at them individually and then putting it all together. And today I am going to be using the Ghetto Tarot. So let's see what kind of guidance is in store for us pertaining to making the most of this energy with this new moon in Sagittarius on November 26th. What is the guidance available to us for this new moon? What would spirit like us to know pertaining to this new moon energy? How it affects our goals, how it affects our personal growth, how it affects our lives, and how we can make the most of it to maximize our success, our happiness, and our lives in general. The first card that comes up is the Ace of Brooms. The Ace of Brooms in this deck for me is a lot about clarification. In other words, clearing out the old. Clarification in terms of purification, energetic purification, and new beginnings. The aces are always new beginnings, right? And this broom's energy, so fiery, so much about purification, transformation, transcendence, um, really clearing out the old, not just in a physical sense, but in an energetic sense, in a metaphysical sense, really clearing the energy surrounding us and the energy surrounding our lives in order to make room for the new. So let's see what's going to come out next. Uh, starting off with that Ace of Brooms is a nice indication for fresh starts coming up surrounding this new moon, which of course is very much in relation to new moon energy. So we've got the Swords card, the Swords of Devastation here. This is going to be the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is about feeling uh, distraught, feeling betrayed, feeling trampled upon, feeling devastated, being um, overcome. It's about not winning the battle. It's about feeling as if we haven't won, but sometimes that is just a feeling. Sometimes it's not the case. Sometimes it's more our emotional response rather than a realistic response to what's actually happening around us. But sometimes the Ten of Swords brings to us or tells us about feelings of betrayal, feelings of loss, feelings of really being let down by those around us, um, relationships and circumstances. So let's see what's going to come up next in relation to this Ten of Swords. I've got cards popping out all over the place. Let me just recenter here and pull our next card. What do we most need to know? The Sun card, this is a nice turnaround. The Sun, of course, is about joy, it's about harmony, it's about unity. Sometimes it's very much um, literally about the kind of joy, harmony, and unity we experience in a family life or in a relationship and letting us know that we are going to have togetherness, that there are sunnier times tomorrow. It's definitely about optimism. It's definitely a reminder that the sun always comes up the next day. We always have a new day. We always have a sunrise. There's always something on the horizon, whether we are currently looking forward to it or not. Life is always going to bring us something new. The sun also reminds us that Things that are cloudy to us now have the ability to be revealed in the future. The sun is an indicator that anything that is in the shadows, anything that is hidden to us, anything um, that is kind of uh, lurking behind the scenes and causing us um, muddled perceptions, 
that is going to come into clarity. So things are going to be coming out into the light. There's going to be a light shown upon those shadowy areas of our lives or those shadowy areas of ourselves. It's really going to allow us um, new perception um, and new ways of really a feeling and being so a kind of enlightenment really coming along with the sun that's nice to follow up that ten of swords energy we're gonna pull our last card and then put this all together so what is the message that we most need at this time surrounding this new moon energy and this two of cups card just literally flew out of the deck so of course two of cups is also about harmony and unity it's about working together Oftentimes it's about working together in a platonic fashion, but it can be about romance. It can be about partnership at work, partnership in your family, partnership in your home, or even with your friends. Um, the Two of Cups, the main theme is working together and working together in a way where there's a lot of natural synergy. There's a lot of intuitive understanding and ease of balance and unity happening between people. And it's a reminder to us that that's possible to us, but we also have to be active participants in it. We do have to be team players. We do have to be open to the support. We do have to be open to allowing ourselves to be understood if we want to really embrace this energy and make the most of it. So we've got some interesting signs here because it looks like this new moon with this Ace of Brooms really has the potential to clear some stuff out of our house, our lives, our, um, you know, our symbolic house, our lives that we no longer need. And I'm really feeling this also on a... Um, psychological and emotional level, a clearing out of old energies. But from these signs, it looks to me like it will also be happening on a physical day-to-day um, -day level in our lives. So we may expect relationships or situations, even business partnerships, things of this nature to fall away from us um, in, in the context of they're no longer needed or they may be holding us back. This transformative um, purifying kind of energy. It's only going to remove the stuff that really isn't going to bring us the long-term uh, results or goal or situation that we're looking for, right? It's only going to remove things that are not necessarily the best influence on us. So we have to keep that in mind. But when it's happening, it might feel a little bit to us like this, like this 10 of, of swords energy. We might um, feel some losses and it might seem to us that um, forces, circumstances, or people are really working against us. So it may feel surprising. It may feel intense when it's going on, but there's going to be a quick turnaround. It looks like this is the kind of situation where you feel like things really, um, they're getting bad. You don't see a way out. And then suddenly the rewards pop up very quickly and we're brought new blessings with this beautiful, bright sun, bringing us clarity and understanding as to what we are um, traversing, what's happening with us, new perceptions of ourselves, new perceptions of our relationships, as well as perhaps bringing us some literal new relationships. So this is going to be a really interesting moon, um, all about clearing out the past, but also bringing us really quick turnaround with rapid rewards almost immediately. So it'll be nice to see how this plays out. It'll be nice to see what rewards are coming. Thanks so much for watching today, everyone. And as a reminder, patrons do receive these readings in advance. So if you would like to become a patron, the link is below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay blessed.